Hey y'all, it's Jeannie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be what my day is like as a mom of a newborn. So by 5.45, I officially start pumping. I like to get my day started with a 30-minute pump session. I pump about five to eight times a day just to express all of my breast milk. And while I'm pumping, I like to drink water. Sometimes I scroll on my phone just to, you know, have the time pass. Because like I said, it is a 30-minute pump session. And 9 times out of 10, I'm usually pretty sleepy during this time. So I'm either scrolling on my phone, drinking water, or honestly falling asleep. The good thing is that my husband actually has the night shift and early morning with the baby. So all I have to do is just focus on pumping and getting myself ready in the morning and catering to my husband um, so that way he can go to work, which is super awesome. Shout out to him if he's watching. So yes, I like to pump for 30 minutes, five to eight times a day. The reason being is because I'm exclusively pumping. I'm not nursing my baby um, just because... It's just what works for me, and yeah, this is just what works for me. So by the time I'm finished pumping, I like to shower, get do my hair, you know, things of that nature, get myself ready, and then, you know, tidy up the room before I go downstairs and I make breakfast. So here I am just making the bed, and while I'm making the bed, the baby, I mean, my husband is feeding the baby, changing her, burping her, things of that nature, so that way he can go to work and I can have time to make breakfast for the both of us. So by the way, ignore my pillowcases. I know they do not fit my pillows. I don't know what happened, um, but they used to fit. For some reason, they don't fit anymore. So that's why like the butt end of the pillow is sticking out. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get ready to make breakfast. On this specific day, he literally, my husband literally had to leave in like 10 minutes. So I only had like 10 minutes to make breakfast. So I did something super easy and super simple. I just made chocolate chip pancakes with turkey bacon because he likes chocolate chip pancakes with extra chocolate chips. And he also likes turkey bacon. So that is what I'm doing right here. Normally, I chef it up. Okay, you have to believe me on this. Normally, I chef that shit up for him, girl. But today, I couldn't do that because, well, we were running a little behind on time. So here I am just making the chocolate chip um, pancakes what I do is I like to obviously make the batter add the chocolate chips add a little bit of butter to the pan just to get the edges nice and crispy and I also cook the pancakes on low to medium heat and also clean as you go that's gonna be the secret to keeping a clean kitchen clean as you go especially when you're cooking because that way at the end you can just enjoy your food and you don't have to worry about a dish pile up or anything like that so once the butter is melted, I like to go ahead and make these little mini pancakes. I don't make those big, you know, huge pancakes because, I don't know, these are just funner to eat. Is funner a word? It's more fun to eat. So by the time that the batter is bubbling on the center, I know that the pancakes are ready to be flipped. So that is what I'm doing here. I'm just flipping it. And as y'all can see, the edges are nice and crispy. And that is what we like. So this is how I sent him to work. Now, what I'm doing is once I have finished cooking, I wash and I sterilize all of the bottle and the pump parts for the baby's next feeding and for my next pump session. So I went ahead and I washed everything and then I'm putting it in the sterilizer. And by this time, it's usually about like 930. Um, once everything is done sterilizing, I begin my next pump session. And here in the clip, I'm actually getting my meal prep menu ready. So if you guys don't know, I actually have been meal prepping and it's been awesome. So if you guys want to see a video on how I meal prep, you know, what I cook and how I prepare, let me know, like this video and comment down below so that way I can have that content out for you guys ASAP. Because when I tell y'all these recipes are it, I am telling y'all these recipes are delicious and they're super easy to make. So as you guys can see, I'm writing down all of the ingredients that I need for each meal. I'm, I prepare groceries for up to two weeks out so that way I can have at least a week and a half worth of food ready to cook and be prepared. I actually meal prep for one week though. I don't meal prep for two weeks because I feel like that's a bit much. I just meal prep breakfast and lunch for one week out and then I cook dinner fresh daily and things of that nature. So that is what I'm doing now. 
and by this time the baby is about to wake up so i just you know get her bottle ready so that way when she wakes up she's not like crying and screaming and you know she can just enjoy her milk without feeling like she's you know just like neglected i don't know if that makes any sense so as you guys can see i'm just um, pouring the breast milk into her bottle my baby's a month old well she's about to be a month old so she eats about four ounces of milk at every feeding um and i usually pump anywhere from actually how much i pump doesn't matter but y'all just know she eats about four ounces um for every feeding so i'm just pouring that up and then warming it up in our dr brown's bottle warmer this bottle comes in clutch and it works super well same thing with the sterilizer i'm gonna have both of them linked in my amazon storefront so y'all can shop there directly and if you're expecting a child put these on your registry or buy them because they seriously come in clutch and they save you so much time So while the bottle is warming up, my 30 minute pump session is over. I go ahead and I take off my hands-free pump and I store my milk in a mason jar. I'm going to link this pump on my Amazon storefront. The link will be in my description box. Um, this pump was only $50 and it works amazingly compared to the Mom Cozy or whatever that name brand pump is. I think that pump is almost like $200 or $300. I found a $50 dupe, y'all. So if you're pregnant or if you're looking to breastfeed and you're looking for a good pump, this will be linked on my Amazon storefront below so y'all can shop so as you guys can see i am just um taking off the pump part and pouring the milk into the mason jar um, i just take off the flange and lift up the side and pour it versus pouring it through the little hole that it comes with because that hole is too small for all the milk that i produce so that is what i'm doing here and once i finish i actually store the mason jar in the fridge as you can see i date the mason jar i date it by morning and by evening reason being is because evening breast milk actually has melatonin in it so i separate it so that way i can give my baby the evening breast milk so she can go to sleep well so y'all this is what my belly looks like one month postpartum and i feel like my progress has been amazing seriously this is not my final body of course but just the fact that my body has brought life into the world and still looks this beautiful i'm just feeling so blessed so I wear my waist trainer every other day and my waist beads every single day. I do still have a little bit of loose skin and my uterus is still shrinking. So that is why I do what I do and I just make sure to moisturize my belly every day. Um, just make sure that it doesn't get dry or flaky or anything like that. And yes, this is just what I do. So you guys, once I am done with all of this, I go ahead and I wash my pump parts in piping hot water. The reason why I do this is because I, for some reason, I just feel like it sterilizes it, even though I'm about to put it in a sterilizer. Um, as you guys can see, I'm taking everything apart and just running it under the hot water. And I continue by actually getting a brush and getting some bottle soap and washing everything one by one. I do this after every pump session and after every feed, so about anywhere from like 5 to 10 times a day depending on how my baby eats and how much I pump. Um, I try to pump 5 times a day minimum, but I can really pump up to 8 to 10 times a day if I have the time on my hands. So as you guys can see, I'm just rinsing everything, making sure it's getting a good clean before I actually put it into the sterilizer. So once I go back up to the room, I'm going to go ahead and use some essential oils. I love essential oils. It keeps the vibes good, okay? Anyways, so once I'm done washing all of the pump parts and the bottles, I actually remove the previous pump parts and the bottles to make room for the new ones. And this is me assembling my hospital grade pump and the bottle. So once that is out the way, I place the new ones in there and this way the machine can do what it does and sterilize everything for the next feeding session and the next pump session. Really when you have a newborn, you're on a two to three hour cycle. So I do this literally every two to three hours. And yeah, I do this often, very, very often, super often. 
So I put the pump parts back into place while the baby's sleeping. As you guys can see, she's chilling on the bed asleep. And yeah, peace, kiss, mwah, whatever. So I'm folding up the swaddle and I usually like to tidy, tidy things up while she's sleeping. I also like to stay hydrated as well. I've really been enjoying Body Armor. This is not sponsored, but Body Armor, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. But anyways, so yeah, I like to stay hydrated and I also like to just admire myself, admire my body because the progress is progressing. So by this time, it is 11 a.m. as you guys can see and she has woken up for her next feeding session. So I am just putting the bib under her chin. Sometimes I don't really put the bib all the way on because, you know, she's not going to have it for super duper long. So, um, I just, you know, feed her, just tuck the bib under her chin, feed her, you know, let her just chill and stuff like that. Sometimes she even tries to hold the, her, hold her own bottle. As you guys can see, she has her right hand up against the bottle and her left hand is like trying, but she's just honestly chilling on my, my hand. So yes, she drinks about four ounces. Like I had previously said, and I don't know if you guys have a newborn, let me know, but for some reason, my newborn, when she's hungry and when I have the bottle to her mouth, she just like sticks her tongue out and just like moves her head around like crazy. I think it's such like a funny thing. So when she's done eating, I actually burp her, you know, get those little gases out. Sometimes she will burp like not even two minutes into her session. Sometimes it will take her up to 10 to 15 minutes. So you have to be really patient when you're burping a baby because, you know, they're on their own time and they're still learning how to, you know, burp and do things like use their lungs and see. So you just have to be super duper patient. And also after she eats and i burp her i change her after she eats i like to wait about 10 to 15 minutes before laying her down so that way she doesn't get hiccups so once those 10 to 15 minutes have passed i change her you know put her little outfit of the day on get her situated and whatnot so that way we can really get our day started for real and when she gets fussy sometimes i like to put her in the carrier um, that really, really helps, especially because she can lay on my chest and hear my heartbeat. But at this point, I realized that she was fussy because she was sleepy and not because um, she wanted to be carried or coddled. So I like, you know, pat her around a bit, move her around. But when I notice that doesn't work, what I do is I just like to lay her down for a nap um, just because she's probably most likely sleepy. And honestly, you guys, while I was filming this clip, I ended up falling asleep before her. So I actually literally fell asleep. So this is real footage of me sleeping <laughs> with her. So we did take a nap midday. And usually I don't sleep with her the whole time. I'll go to sleep or I'll put her to sleep. Sometimes I fall asleep and I wake back up because I have to pump and I have to eat. So while she's sleeping, I pump and I eat. I don't know how people say to sleep when the baby sleeps because I get hungry. You know what I'm saying? And I need some me time. So once I finish eating, I actually prepare her bottle for her next session. Reason being, it's easier to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Honestly, once your newborn wakes up and you don't have a bottle ready and they start crying and wailing, it can be um, a bit of pressure. So I like to just have her bottle ready so that way when she wakes up, she's not fussy or anything and she can just eat peacefully and calmly and I don't have to get stressed to prepare a bottle and warm it up in time. So once the bottle is prepared, I go ahead and I warm it up in the bottle warmer. And at this point, my grocery delivery is here. So this is just me um, getting the groceries and bringing them back up with my pump because I was actually uh, mid pump. So yeah, and my pump session is over. And I'm going to once again, just pour the milk from the pump into the mason jar.
So once the milk is poured up, I go ahead and I store all of my groceries in this mini fridge we have. So from this order, I mainly just got drinks because like I said, I'm really prioritizing staying hydrated. I really love spring water. I really love body armor and Kavita kombucha. And here I am just putting the baby to sleep for the um, main part of the afternoon so that way she can get a little nap in. So you guys, this is where my afternoon basically ends. Once I put her to sleep, she usually wakes up for another feeding and then daddy comes home to start the night shift. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I'll see y'all soon.